Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Plants vs. Zombies. In the last episode, we had finished up the adventure mode, so today we're going to be taking on some of the other modes. Uh, I think we'll be taking on the puzzle modes, because I think these are a little bit shorter. Um, probably gonna be doing these two in separate things, I'm not sure if I'll split up the episodes based on, uh... Because this is all just Vase Baker and this is all just Eye Zombie, so I think I might make them in two separate videos. Um, but I don't know, I'll have to see how long it takes me. Just check the time right now, because I am just winging it here. But anyway, the first puzzle mode is Vase Breaker, and we got a taste of this from the story mode. <laughs> this here is Vase Breaker. Some of these levels are really difficult. Blabby Good blabby. luck. So, as before, um, green pots um, are free plants, so you can safely use them. I'd recommend putting them in lanes, or putting plants in lanes that have more pots. I'm gonna be really mad if that snow pea doesn't have any use. Okay, good, it does. Now you just kind of want to be careful. Like there. That's a... <laughs> that is a, co uh, a pot bucket at. That's the word. Okay. So we'll just wait for the squash to hit this guy. Okay, and then we can just wail on this guy. That's really funny. So, basically, the jack-in-the-box zombie just explodes as soon as you break his pot, so it explodes everything around it. So, like, if there's other zombies that you don't want to get out quite yet, that causes problems, but I guess we just got lucky. So, yeah, you get, uh, $2,500, or $2,500, $250, for each level that you complete, at least on the first time. I'm not sure if you get as much on the second time around. Um, basically, yeah. Uh, the one nice thing about this mode is that you can technically just wait these out- wait out the potato mines. You do not have to, um... You don't have to put anything- you don't have to wait for the time or anything, so that's quite nice. And also, they give you, uh, reverse repeaters. Just in case. No, I don't want to... There we go. But they give you reverse repeaters that let you plant backwards, so you don't have to rely strictly on the front-facing uh, thing, so you do actually have a little bit of leeway. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I was going for here. Yeah, let's just put some repeaters down. This'll work. Alright, we just gotta wait for them to die now. Oh, that potato mine lives! Alright, Bucket Zombie, I get it. Just please die, just for the sake of making this go a little bit faster. Come on. There we go. <laughs> These levels are pretty short, so I feel like we'll probably get through all of them in this video. As long as I get behind a half hour, and thank you, game, for giving me a bucket head right there. Oh! That's not good. That's really not good! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... This could be a slight problem. Oh, gosh darn. Okay. Um, this is actually- this is becoming a very big problem very quickly. Oh my god. Why am I breaking the pots on the freaking lanes that are unoccupied? I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, we're doing a little bit better. Could it be better? Absolutely. Could it be worse? Also, yes. Uh, 
Alright, uh, okay, how are we gonna handle this? Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> oh, Lord in heaven, help me. There we go. Thank God, Squash came in clutch. I'm just like, I don't even, I'm not even thinking, I'm just panicking and hitting stuff. <laughs> this could be going better, but you know, chain reaction, so that probably means it's gonna be a ton of freaking whatever they're called. I'm just thinking, um, explodey zombies. Okay. Come on, Puff Shrooms, you got this. Okay. Okay, that could have gone better, could have gone worse. I will take it though. Oh, goodness. Thank you for stealing my stupid, uh, uh, thing from me. Oh, great. Oh, great. Ooh, thank you for the stupid, uh... Pop stream, you got it? Okay, thank goodness. Dummy. Alright, well that worked out a little bit better than I anticipated. Thank goodness I had that Hypno Shroom to get the freaking football zombie. That could have gone really badly really fast. M is for metal. Great start. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, oh, okay, actually, that's better, because now the hypno shroom. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're totally fine. So I apologize for any sounds you might hear, because I'm drinking soda. Is this the best thing I could be doing? Maybe, maybe not. Um. Put down that repeater, put the squash down here. Alright, everything's looking half decent. Except for that. What am I doing? Um. Okay, uh. Oh, I totally did play myself, didn't I? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, thank goodness. Okay. Okay, that's actually arguably worse because he can walk. F oh, okay. <laughs> that was arguably worse. Okay, we're fine. Nothing bad could ever happen to me. I'm I am just a god. Scary Potter, haha, ha, that's funny. Got torch wood. Okay, we're fine. Ooh. That's honestly not great. Can I please not get the stupid? Okay. Whew. Um. That's fine. Waste the torch wood though. And of course, 
and there we go. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. Sure. Bye, squash. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're so good at this game. I'm just whacking things, and it's working out. Got Hokey Pokey. I don't know how to feel about this. So I think with um, Spike Weed, you need two in the row in order to take them out. Fortunately, because Spike Weed just kind of does passive damage, you don't need to worry too much about them. You do need to worry about that, though, but thankfully... Um, please don't prove me wrong, thank goodness. Oh, great. It proved me wrong. Oh. Okay, you might need three. You might need three. Okay. We should basically be fine. Thank goodness I put that walnut there, because freaking... Well, I can hold on to this, so hopefully the stupid spike weed can take out this zombie. This is just gonna be a big ol' waiting game. Because as long as I hold the walnut, it's not gonna despawn. Which, these seed packets will despawn if you don't pick them back up. So you do need to be mindful of that. I am a little concerned, though, because I don't know how much health a bucket has, and I'm just gonna start spam clicking just so that way this stupid thing gets planted immediately, just so that way it won't move forward and move all the spike weed. We should be fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're totally fine. Were you worried? I was never worried. I wasn't worried at all. We were, we were just golden. Alright, next one, another chain reaction. <laughs> thanks, game! Oh, Pogo zombies, thanks. Yeah, I don't trust the... Oh my god, game, please! Because I know the Pogo Zombies have the- I think they have medium health, so they're like basically as strong as a Conad. Roughly. Game, please. Ah, shoot. I lost that. Let's try that again. We're fine. It's only because the stupid game is just being mean to me. You know, why isn't this why isn't this thinking game being nice to me? Okay. Okay, we're fine. Okay, we are totally fine. Okay, we're good. Alright, we're fine. I just got really unlucky with those spawns. Game just said, mm-mm, you ain't doing it. I'm specifically targeting you. It wasn't me. I- me? Bad at this game? Never. That's a conspiracy and you know it. Okay.
You can let a few of these chill. Um, the one good thing about planterns is that they let you see all of the things within... all of the pots within a thing. So that way you can, like, safely pick which things to go for. So, like, for example, I'm gonna put this bucket head so that way the squash gets them. And then I'll pick the squash <laughs> so that way I can safely just, uh, go for him. Hopefully the squash doesn't get activated by this stupid thing. This zombie. Okay, good. I just wanted to have uh, a, a backup plant. Was it collateral? That's not. I don't think that's the right word, but you know what I mean. I'll put a thing there just to make sure that bucket zombie goes down. Uh, potato mine here in case I get very unlucky with the spawns. And then technically every lane should be fine, it's mostly just a matter of this lane really getting very unlucky with, like, it being, like, a stupid... That! Oh! That is really bad! That is... No! No! That is really bad! That is really bad! Oh, thank god! Thank god there was still some squash left! Oh, lord! Okay, that was just... <laughs> and great, we have... I'm not feeling great about this. Okay, maybe we got this. We might be able to get this. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, thank god. <sighs> Just because, like, that was really- Like, literally, this stupid thing was, like, literally right there. Like, on the, as far as it could be put. Like, that's just really unlucky. <laughs> really bad placement. Like, the game really wanted to make us lose. And then we have Vase Breaker Endless, so basically you can just continue to play um, each level endlessly. Thanks, game! Oh, come on, game. Oh yeah, also, the stupid gargantuars will activate... ...or will smash pots, which can become even more problematic as time goes on for the fact that they do, in fact, take more, or they will cause more problems, just like the freaking Jack in the Box zombies. That was a bad decision. That was a very bad decision. That was a bad decision. Okay, we're good. Put a planter in here, and of course there is a stupid... bucket zombie. Alright, squash, go for him. Now do I take the risk? Will these- will they get them? Yeah, they'll get them, I think. This should be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Just a matter of hoping that he doesn't take a bite. Okay, we're fine. And of course it was another zombie, so it's a good thing that I waited. <laughs> Alright. And we're good. So basically, it'll just continually generate more maps for you to clear through. Um, it does get pretty hard, so uh, you want to keep that... It, it, it gets hard. Um, and actually, I believe there is an achievement for it. There, these are the achievements. I never actually showed these off. Um, but yeah, you need to get a streak of 15 in Vase Breaker, and then a streak of 10 in I Zombie. Um, but yeah. Like, like, these are all the achievements. And if you scroll all the way down, you see some other... References to other games, like that's, what is it, Zuma? I think that's called Zuma. I think that was what the game is. And these are other PopCap games. And if you get all the way to the bottom, it shows you some zombies in China. I think. 
Maybe Japan. I think... Eh. Something in Asia. I'm not super familiar to really make that judgment call. <laughs> but yeah, you got like, Bookworm and Bejeweled and the... Uh... I, I know that's another game, but I don't know what it is. But yeah, these are the achievements. I always find it weird how long this stupid thing goes, like, for how few achievements there are. But yeah. But yeah. That's that. And that's the end of, um, Vasebreaker. So I will see you guys in the next episode where we take on iZombie. See you guys then. Mm -hmm.